to his thumb. He told my man, I don't even remember him being grounded, but you're the one who grounded him. You're the one who grounded him. And you talking about you don't know why he grounded. But like you don't want to ground him. Like, come on. Don't say. Ah, 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 ah. I don't remember. Cro- Bro. You don't fucking want to ground him. <laughs> Welcome you to to LJ the Ashton Music. In today's video, I'm going to see who is the worst cartoon parent to live with. Cause we're going to see who hit the cake of being talk to a judge or go to jail. And I'm going to rate from 1 to 10. And I'm going to tell y'all why I would not be with that parent. If you're alive, you got parents, but some people got hell spawns that pretend to be parents, like Peter Griffin and Lois Griffin. And you know me, I'm not going home back on nobody, so make sure you watch to the end. And if you a fought and broke dummy, I've hidden a $5 Apple card in this video. And without further ado, let's look at why these parents are some of the worst ones in cartoon history. Bitch ass parents number one. Oh yeah. Oh, in the kitchen, mate. Let's go ahead and get out of the way. We know that the Griffins are terrible parents. 30%. Yeah, we know the Griffins are a terrible parent. Like, pure tree make so wrong. And tree make like, made it a disappointment all the time. Lois, on the other hand, is 10 times worse than Peter. Like, listen, y'all think Lois is a sweet, loving, hot mom. She was, you know, but she was. Like, like what, what, what would my man about to do? What would my man about to do? Sent in my previous video was spent clowning on Lois. And that was because she was a trash wife. This her bitch ass is on the chopping block again today with her bitch ass husband. Because not only is she a terrible wife, she's a terrible like, fucking listen, mother. Listen, and I'm listen, finna release some hot justice all over that mother. ass. Subscribe. So first of all, let's just get this out of the way. These two are abusive as fuck to their kids. Let's start True. off with Lois, just because I hate her. So I know y'all remember that one time that Lois hit Stewie because he was playing in her stuff. <laughs> 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 She hit this nigga so hard that he made the Ryu death sound. Well, that's not abuse, man. <laughs> that's just discipline. So y'all out here squaring up with one-year-olds? What? <laughs> 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 Look, I don't approve of beating kids at all. But the people that do beat their kids are not beating their kids when their kid is one years old. Mind you, this is what Stewie saw when when she hit him, she had that nigga traumatized. Hitting one year wow. olds is not freaking cool. But that's not all. Do y'all remember when Peter punched like Stewie out of his high chair because Meg said so? That's a punch your baby in the face. Face. You tell me. You tell me. You let May tell you to punch her brother in the face at, at like one or two years old? It's crazy. And the creep up about your parents. How the fuck are you listening to your daughter tell you to punch her brother in the fucking face at one or two years old? She you listen to your daughter tell you to punch your son in the face? How dumb are you? Like, yeah, I know this is the episode when Meg was all scary and shit, but I would have died behind my one-year-old. Peter could have easily been like, punch me instead, Meg. Which yeah. actually brings me to my yeah, next point. Yeah, Peter can always that. beat on Meg and abuse Meg, but when it comes to saving Stewie, nah. Where the fuck was this Peter at whenever she told you to punch your son, you gluttonous yeah, fuck, you gluttonous bastard? I hate Peter Griffin. Like, like, I can't wait on, for Peter? the day that Stewie get a spin-off where he grown up and can finally beat this dude ass. But wait! There's more! Do y'all remember the episode when Peter got a whip? Yeah. If not, let me refresh your fucking memory. So Quagmire's package got delivered to Peter's house instead of his own. And if you know Quagmire, then you know that this dude is a hey, major fuck. Hey, if you know Quagmire, you know that dude do freaky stuff. For one, don't go to Quagmire's house. Please don't. You see some freaky stuff that is 10 times worse than a normal freaky person. Right? You'll find things that... You never know that when you're really supposed to be, um, uh, be in a sex store. 
that never ever came out in the nasty session. If it, if you, if you never seen nothing in the nasty session that never been there, then you know, you know, Grandma got 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 some people that he know. Free. You want me to drag my shack across your face? No, no, no. He can whip all the bitches yeah. that come to. The crime I ever see that? Was house. Probably I the other way around. So big did. nigga opens up the whip and start whipping everyone that he knows, including baby Stewie and his daughter Meg. I, 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 don't, remember, I don't remember him. Okay, that's pretty cool too. Hey, Dad, that's a cool whip. He hit this nigga. Hey, yo. So how how in the f did you hit um hit Meg and then hit Meg? But you hear Stewie, like Stewie, a black person, and, and Stewie uh, stole something from you, and you angry at him. And you gave the man a scar, but you didn't give him a mega scar, but you gave Stewie a scar. How in the fuck did you give your son a scar like that? That he turned into Kratos. Let me put this into perspective for you. He what? hit him with a whip. That shit is insane. Put this grease monster under the yeah. jailhouse. But wait! There's, There's an episode where Chris sets up a camera so he can catch the evil monkey on video because this evil monkey used to come out his closet. And luckily, Chris is an that. idiot because the shit that he saw on that tape didn't phase him, but it did phase me. Peter and Quagmire come in and do the hand in warm water trick, which makes Chris piss on himself. But but as they leaving Quagmire, like, I'm not done. And he hit that nigga with a mean ass maca. And he hit him real hard, too. So hard that his eye black right there on the spot. And all Peter can do is laugh. And Lois thought she was safe because I ain't talk about her in a while. But Lois come in after Peter and Quagmire and steal some money out his fucking wallet. Add, Add that to the list. This shit is supposed to be the other way around. Now, we're done talking about abuse because if we kept talking about it, we'd be here all day with all the times Peter has abused Meg. But before we move on, let's get real dark. This entire video so far, we've been covering the abuse of the Griffins. Uh -huh. There's a lot of left out but that's because like i said we'd be here all fucking day but something happened to meg that goes under the radar too often because it's a little Whoa, gag there's boy. an episode where peter wants to become a redneck because of a redneck comedy show so he starts doing stuff that he thinks rednecks do which includes the rednecks having do to -do, do with their daughter stereotype dad what are you doing meg i'm a redneck which means i am about to do something to you that you will not remember until you're 40. <laughs> Yo, I, 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 I spare cry man to uh, say something about, about Meg or something like that. Not your, not to your biological daughter. Like, why would you say that to your daughter? But Wolfgang, he meant something else. You got the clip too early. Hey, come back here. I meant sex. Fucking crazy. Insane. Peter and Lois can rock. Hey, hey, do you have a chance to know you, man? What you, that, that's still wrong. You see, no, we, we, I mean, sex? Like, what, what, what? You so, so, what? in jail forever. To conclude, Peter and Lois have been physically abusive to every single one of their kids, but mostly only mentally abuse Meg. The Griffins are just kind of backwards. All their kids are fed and have rooms and whatnot, but they just be beating the fuck out of them. Family Guy has taught me that despite having hot meals on the table and both parents in your life, it's still possible to be born into a family of straight dookie bags. Bitch ass parents number two. Lou, 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 I've got well, I guess you're in Lois? Lock up. Right? They lock them. Rain them. I'll say from one to ten. I'll give them for you. Put it like a two because they need a uh, good parent. Mm -mm. Some apples, Lou, Lou, Lou. You got some too, Lou, Lou, Lou. Let's get together. Wow, what an adorable Not kid! Bad. And his parents look very nice. Wow, this joke. entire family looks very happy. Look yeah. at little Butter; he's so happy. No dinner for you. While well, you're grounded, you can just go to bed hungry. Well, that was a fucking lie. Watching South Park growing up, I would always feel really bad for Butters, cause this dude right. just couldn't win at home or at school. He's an easily influenced and innocent kid surrounded by bad influences, which is where his parents oh. are supposed to come in at. That's good, good look. Yeah, it's surrounded by bad influence. Your friends are bad influence, and now, it like, like the whole world, it seems like a bad influence for brother. Because like, brother, you got friends like these, and they are a bad influence for you. 
and you see them getting her hand cut off and everything, and you are still firm with them after seeing your dad? Like, come on, Butters. That's the whole reason we even got parents in this world. But nah, instead, they trying to kill him. Butters got his own episode know. in season five. The episode is about his parents' anniversary at first. But then Butters' ugly ass mom sent him on a quest to follow his dad. And she does this because she's sick of all her weak ass gifts getting trumped by her husbands. I mean, just yeah. look at her. She looked like she'll get you a trash anniversary gift, weak ass fit. Oh, yeah, and before we move on, add manipulative. Because Butters didn't even want to follow his dad until his mom put a positive spin on it to make it seem like it was a good thing. Bye, uh, but ain't that kind of like fibbing? No, it's a little different. So his parents teach him these lessons, then unteach him these lessons, and then he gets in trouble when he don't follow the lessons. Ho, ho, ho. Can you teach brother a lesson? Hey, ho, ho, ho. Let's go back to that. Teach him these lessons, then unteach him these lessons, and then he gets in trouble. So you tell me, y'all teach him the lesson y'all want him to learn, then y'all tell him to not do the lesson, and then when he don't do it, he get in trouble. So what y'all want brothers to do? He like, if he do the lesson, y'all gonna tell him not to do it, then when he don't do it, he get in trouble. So like, brothers can't win at all in this situation when he don't follow the lessons. Ed hypocrite, that shit is fucking stupid. So Butters follows his dad to this shady part of town. And his dad goes into this theater that's got movies like Fisting Fireman 9 and Man Ahoy and Boys Night Out. His mom. And this info drives her so insane that she tries to kill Butters. It's okay, baby. Mommy will be with you very soon. <laughs> Okay, I get that it's hard finding out that your husband is doing weird shit in shady parts of town. But this isn't one of those inescapable situations where ooh ah is the only answer. What the fuck is game ending your son then game ending yourself later going to do for you? This nigga still fitting to be hitting up the men bathhouse every night you're gonna start using that shit as a coping mechanism and on top of all that they be abusing the fuck out their parental power they'll ground butters for anything and i literally mean anything you, mean you made a goofy uh. face no that's just what i look like don't you make that face at me young man i'm not making a face mom Fine, Butters. If you don't want to stop making that stupid face at me, you can just stay in your room for another week. They grounded him for looking like himself. That shit is babonkulous. No, even worse, they already no, admitted no, they don't no, even be knowing why they ground him half the time. It's strange. I don't recall him really doing anything particularly bad, and yet... And yet he is grounded. Why the fuck are you talking like that? Like you don't know you're the one who grounded him. I don't give a fuck if it's yeah, supposed to be ironic. South Park him. stupidity. This dude is dumb. You talking about, man, I don't even remember him being grounded, but you're the one who grounded him. You're the one who grounded him. And you talking about, you don't know why he grounded. Like, you're the one who grounded him. Like, come on. Don't say, ah, 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 ah. I don't remember. Bro, you're the fucking one who grounded him. You want to hit the creators with a bag of iguana dicks. Make sure to like and subscribe so I can afford angry. Hey, hey. But to conclude. Get like what he say. Like, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell on their video. Include, butters don't deserve none of the abuse that he gets from his parents. And you could argue that all the groundings he received did help him because he is a kind and respectful kid. But that's not true because Butters doesn't truly know what's wrong. He just knows that getting grounded is bad, which means that doing something that gets him grounded must be bad. Butters doesn't know right from wrong, which is why Cartman is still able to trick him into doing stupid shit. All he knows is grounded no, equals bad. What? And I guess like, that's just like Cartman knows that Butters is easier to trick. So that's why Cartman be making Butters do a lot of sh that Butters don't know. That's what happens when you got trash ass parents. Bitch ass parents number three. Let me be completely honest with y'all. I never want a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I I I I gotta take a walk um after this one.
watch Fairly Odd Parents. Now don't go get on me in the comments because you can't fight first of all, I beat your ass. Second of all, I watched like 30 episodes to see what the deal was with Timmy's parents. So let's see if I gotta release some justice on their ass or if y'all are just overreacting like a bunch of little pissy poo poo babies. Jenny, here you go, sweetie. Tuna salad for lunch. Uh, mom, your dad sucks. So where the fuck do I even start with these two? Ooh, ooh, I know, I know. The abandonment of their fucking child. Now see, the abandonment yes. of Timmy is fucking crazy. They, because they unlike other Timmy, kids like, and other... They always been to Timmy. Like, they always go and drop Timmy off to some type of babysitter house. And then they go and do their adult things every time. I'm talking about... Not one episode that you see Timmy with his parents. Not one episode that Timmy ever, ever did have fun with his parents. Kids shows, their parents are around, but we just don't really see them much because the kids never be at home. But Timmy's parents, they fucking gone. They're not here. The nigga dad be in the studio making music and shit. His mom out somewhere being a model for Mills Monthly. Timmy's parents were damn near a side gag. And he was only 10 years old, so he couldn't be at home alone, which brings me to my next point. They leave Timmy with an abusive babysitter. So while Timmy's parents are out partying, they leave Timmy with this fine ass bitch, Vicky. And she be beating the fuck out of Timmy. Look at this shit, a fucking wrecking ball? Are you serious? But let's go ahead and get dark for a second. What if Vicky was some kind of weirdo and not just a slapstick abuser? What if Vicky genuinely wanted to harm Timmy? Putting Timmy into Vicky's care is the worst thing that his parents ever yeah. did. Leaving your child with someone- Let me see. Timmy parents had to get um, Vicky off the dark web at, at Timmy Beaverson. There ain't no way you 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 got um, Vicky off of a good website. You had to get her off of a dark, uh, off the dark web. You had to. When you barely know opens up a gate to terrible things. What if Timmy was just a regular boy with no fairly odd parents? And what if Vicky was a troubled young girl who yeah, was I told in- y'all. I told you. Let me say I mean, once Vicky turned 18, bro, Vicky, Vicky looked like, looked like, looked stunning at 18. Like, bro, who went, who went be 18 year old Vicky? 18 year old Vicky? Who wouldn't? If you're, listen, if you're 21 to, like, if you're two, 17 to 21, why wouldn't y'all want to take the chance of being fucking 18 year old Vicky, bro? bro 18 year old Vicky, you ass! Who wouldn't want to be in there? Then the plan with knives. Do you see where this is? There isn't much that Timmy's parents can do to be bad parents since they're barely in his life. But if anything was to happen to Timmy in Vicky's care, it would be their fault. Meaning that there's literally an infinite number of things that I could put here for them. Because there's no telling what Vicky would be on if the circumstances were different. And to conclude, the abuse that Timmy goes through doesn't come directly from his parents. It comes from his parents' neglect, which leads to a bunch of bad situations. It don't matter if it's Vicky putting the beats on Timmy or interdimensional drag queen fairy trying to kill him with a pie it can all be traced back to his parents neglect bitch ass parent number four now call me Mom. Eric Cartman, you either hate nah. this tub of lard if you're normal or you love this tub of lard if you're edgy he's done some nasty like, things like what? pretending to be a robot to get butters Boy, deep I, his sorry I am coming mom who I y'all 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 be so Flip the flash screen at this. Like, y'all be pissed at this one. Y'all be real pissed at this one. Real pissed at this one. Secrets and making his half brother eat his parents. But has anyone ever taken the time to think why he's like this? Is Cartman just evil or is there a reason to his shitty personality? But I got the answer right here, nigga. You better subscribe, nigga. His, his mom? mom? Bro, what? A kid being spoiled doesn't equal evil, Wolf Gang. Well, let's talk about Leanne's biggest and only crime being an enabler. You can say what you want to about Cartman's mom, but that little fat fuck is taken care of. Too taken care of. And that's the problem. Whatever Cartman wants, Cartman gets. Okay, okay. Well, I guess I'll be going to the store now, then. Now, if... Now, y'all see when you uh, say neighbor, Cartman's mom, let Cartman treat you, treat her. Any time, any different that he want. Like, literally, Aaron coming mom get abused by her own son. And then she don't do 
about anything. She won't cry him. She won't, she won't do it. If you're stupid or you were similar to Cartman growing up, you're probably having a hard time understanding what's wrong with this. Well, even though Cartman is very well fed and he's got all the new toys and shit that he wants, he's still abused. You see, Cartman's mom suffers from single mom syndrome. She doesn't have anything in her life to focus on other than Cartman. And the show showed us that she had a troubled past being a roster root and being addicted to rugs. So it's obvious all she wants is for Cartman to be happy. But by enabling this beer belly Twinkie tackler, she created a monster. Cartman is 90 fucking pounds at 8 years old. And 8 9 pounds? Bro. 9 pounds at 8? It's crazy. Year old should weigh anywhere from 46 to 78 pounds. As you can see, this fat fuck is 90 like, pounds, bro. meaning that he's fatter than Wait, even the I top percentile of his age range. And like, this is due to his mom letting him eat whatever the fuck he yeah. wants. And Cartman yeah. just feels entitled to get his way no matter what. This calorie ball convinced Butters that the world was in him because he got invited. It's Kyle's birthday party party instead of Cartman. Right. It's so bad that this ball of glutton has to open up a gift at other people's birthday party to feel like he's a part of the experience. Wait, wait, it's Stan's birthday. Yes, every time somebody gets a birthday present, Eric gets one too. So, so you tell me, if, if I'm eight years old and I'm and, and I'm Cartman's friend, right? And my birthday, I invite him. You tell me that Cartman get a present too on my birthday. What? It's probably my birthday. That's probably my gift, not the other way around. Otherwise, he gets a little upset. And this shit right here is the problem. We can sit here and yeah, give outcomes for right being here. enabled to this greed goblin right all day. Here. But there's no reason because none of this shit even matters. Realistically, all the enabling that Leanne did to Cartman has already taken its toll. That's what makes her a bad mom. She's ruined Cartman's life. And as much as everyone, including me, hates him, we gotta remember that he's a kid. It's not his fault that he turned out like this. It's his mom's fault. No amount of therapy, no amount of Caesar Milan, no amount of anything will ever change Cartman's personality because of his mom's enabling. No one ever calls out Cartman's mom because they think that he's the one pushing her around. But she's the yeah, adult in this situation. And she has it in her to assert dominance. She did it in the iPad episode. But she doesn't want to, which is ultimately what will ruin her son's life.